The Princess of Wales put on an elegant display in green as she attended the Trooping the Colour celebrations today. Kate Middleton, 41, was snapped waving at bystanders as she made her way to the event. Prince George, 9, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, also joined Kate on the Buckingham Palace balcony alongside King Charles, 74 and Queen Camilla, Prince William and other working royals. It is the first trooping the color the royal family marks without the late Queen Elizabeth II following her death last September. Last year's celebrations marked 70 since the late monarch's ascension to the throne, but this year's heralds a new era for the family, with King Charles at its helm. The princess opted for a bold single-color look, donning green from head to toe, representing her role as Colonel of the Irish Guards, a role she took over from her husband at the end of last year. Kate's three children were also spotted arriving at the event together, waving enthusiastically at royal fans. Around 70 aircraft from the Royal Navy, British Army and Royal Air Force will take part in a flypast for Trooping the Colour on Saturday, marking the first birthday flypast for Charles. However, the extended military flypast may be scaled down due to bad weather. The King, Queen and other members of the royal family are expected to watch as the aircraft fly over the Mall and Buckingham Palace in a six-minute display. The Ministry of Defence, MOD, said the aircraft will take off from 15 locations up and down the UK before meeting in the southeast of England and flying across London. The event will feature a mix of aircraft, ranging from the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight dating back to the 1940s and the C-130 Hercules on its final ceremonial flight to multiple Typhoon fighter jets and the Envoy IVCC-1, which is making its flypast debut. At the front of the flypast will be a Juno HT-1 piloted by Flight Lieutenant Tom Knapp from 60 Squadron, No. 1 Flying Training School based at RAF Shabari. The event will end in a show of red, white and blue from the pilots of the Red Arrows. The mod said many of the aircraft taking part in the flypast have been involved in operations around the world this year, including the NATO air policing mission in Eastern Europe and the evacuation of British citizens from Sudan. Charles will be joined on Saturday by the Queen and members of the royal family to view the 1st Battalion Welsh Guards troop their colour. The annual event of Trooping the Colour has marked the official birthday of the Sovereign for more than 260 years. More than 60 aircraft from the Royal Navy, British Army and Royal Air Force had been due to take part in the Coronation Flypast in May but unsuitable weather conditions saw that plan abandoned. Instead, helicopters from the three services and the Red Arrows took part in the display, which lasted for around two and a half minutes. Footage from Royal Navy helicopters showed how poor the weather was in the skies above London.